The state pension. You don't have to be a financial genius to know the more you save for retirement, the more financially secure you will probably be when you do stop working. Most people can claim the state pension when they reach their state pension age. But be aware that the government has laid out plans to increase the qualifying age over time to age 68 for both men and women. You can find out your state pension age using the government's online tool. A new version of the state pension came into effect from the 6th of April 2016 and has created a new simplified state pension for everyone. To qualify for the new state pension at your state pension age, you will need to have paid at least 10 years national insurance contributions and are a man born on or after the 6th of April 1951, a woman born on or after the 6th of April 1953. If you were born before these dates, you will get the old state pension instead. The old basis for calculating your state pension was more complex. For most people, it was made up of two parts the basic state pension, and an earnings-related element, referred to as the State Earning Related Pension Scheme, later renamed the State Second Pension. Some pension schemes, the BAA Pension Scheme for example, enable their members to opt out of receiving some or all of the second element, and subsequently paid less national insurance contributions. If you have pension benefits built up in one of those types of arrangements, this will be taken into account when your state pension is calculated. You might like to know that you can get a personalised estimate of how much state pension you may receive and information on how you can increase this amount from the Check Your State Pension service. It also allows you to view your all-important national insurance contribution history. As to get the full basic state pension, you will need a total of 35 qualifying years, 30 for the old state pension, of national insurance contributions or credits. Thank you for watching.